Hey guys, Chris and I, we have a special video. Actually, we have a two-part series. That's right. We are all about trying to get the best information to you when it comes to boondocking, camping off-grid, mooch docking. All those tips in there. So we're going to give some tips, but we also have some special friends that are going to give some tips too. That's right. We don't know everything, so we pull in the experts. We've got a bunch of YouTuber friends that are going to give some great advice on how to camp off-grid or without connections and make the most of your trips. Yeah, and not only on top of that, they're the cast of RV Plug <laughs> that we're in. So you're going to get some amazing boondocking tips and how to live off grid. Check it out. Hey guys, we're with our friends Chris and Aaron, and we're going to let them tell you about them. My name's Aaron, and this is my wife, Christine, and we are from Irene Iron Travels and Healthy RV Living. So on Irene Iron Travels, we do full-time RV living, travel, boondocking, things like that, and then on Healthy RV Living, Coach Chris does a little bit of food, fitness, cooking, and some local travel. We are on YouTube for both channels, Irene Iron Travels and Healthy RV Living, and also Instagram, Facebook, same names. So you guys are in for a treat. Chris and Aaron, they know how to boondock right. They were sharing some of their tips with us, and we asked if they can share with you. They've spent, what, the last 10 days out in the woods with a whole bunch of YouTubers. And I'll tell you, we have learned more from them in 10 days than we learned in years of uh, trying to glamp and figure it out ourselves. And that's definitely what it is. It's like just practice and learning. Like boondocking, anybody can do. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice, yeah. and uh, just get comfortable with it. And the rewards are great once you do. Yeah, starting out with friends is definitely the way to do it. So those of you who haven't boondocked yet, find some friends, do it together, share some, share some tricks and tips, just like what we're doing with each other. So jumping into it, I think as an RVer, you have to be comfortable talking about going to the bathroom number one and number two and today i'm going to share tips with both number one and number two in order to save tank space as we started out boondocking we were in our van it was an airstream interstate and it had a tiny black tank 15 gallons and we really tried to push our stays to one week at a time while boondocking. It took a while to get there, but we did get up to one full week in a van. Yeah, and we do drink a lot of water, like a gallon of water each per day. So we're constantly peeing. And if you're peeing straight into your black tank, it's never going to last. So in some areas, it's really easy for you to just pee outside and water the cactuses, we call it. Now, for the ladies out there, it might be uncomfortable for you to do that because you don't want to be squatting, you don't want to be out of your normal bathroom closed privacy. So what I recommend to do is to get the red solo cup. The, the red solo cup patented is patented red solo cup. Patented by Irene Iron Travels. <laughs> it is so easy, you just pee in your cup. You in are, the comfort of your own bathroom. You are in the comfort of your own bathroom behind closed doors. And then you just take the cup outside Find a designated pee spot where you can dump it, and you just go in and out, in and out, in and out. And men can do this too. If you're in a boondocking area where it's highly congested, we have found these areas like in near big cities. Mm -hmm. The men might need to do this too because you don't always have privacy. So if you find yourself in a highly trafficked area, get a his and a hers cup or two cups, one for each partner and write your name in the bottom of it so you know whose is whose. <laughs> Don't mix them step. up. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes it easy and breezy. My next tip, it's a little bit more gruesome and detailed because it's number two. So in order to save flushes and messes and pumping water down your toilet, we recommend doing the TPX. And basically you take two to three squares of toilet paper and you lay it down at the bottom of your toilet bowl, and then you take two to three squares more, place it on there in the shape of an X. So when you do your dirty work, you don't have any residue or any gross mudslides. It's one clean flush, zero wasted water, zero cleanup. Kind of gross to talk about, but there, there are little adjustments that you have to do to spend some time out in the middle of nowhere and to really save space, especially if you're in a smaller rig with smaller tank sizes. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Martha and I always uh, joke about it with our community. It's like, you know, you got to go to your office to finish the paperwork. And sometimes <laughs> the paperwork needs to be done in a particular manner so that everything goes as appropriate, right? right. And your technique is going to be fantastic. I really like that. And I think it's going to be a big help for people that are wondering, you know, how do I save every ounce of water so that I can stay out as long as I can and enjoy nature? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the one caveat is you do got to be careful. You have to use a, a certain amount of water or liquid in your tank so that you don't get a buildup and have the dreaded poop pyramid, they call it. <laughs> yeah, just like the one Chris and Martha have. And we'll link that video at the end. Do you have one right now? No, we oh. did right before we got here because we were staying out in a couple harvest hosts in a row and we were trying to go way too light on water yeah. and yeah. flush the tank and then realize, boop, and I'm like, oh, I know what that means. Yes. <laughs> bad day yeah <laughs> awesome well thank you very much for your tips and i greatly appreciate it you guys are definitely the foremost expert and thank you for your time make sure you check out iron irene travels and healthy rv living that's right nailed it <laughs> they have awesome content guys check them out yeah and we're gonna link all of that down below in the description all right guys so we're over here with ryan from millers in motion all right ryan so you've been boondocking with us for the first time mm -hmm. for a couple weeks insights uh I, it's hot it's very hot at night if you don't have airflow ac or anything else no so yeah we we, we had nothing literally nothing and, and chris and martha were very nice enough to get my dandruff off my shoulder our bug um to let us borrow a generator and i'm going to tell you right now some version of something to have power even if it's not necessarily for your comfort it's just for maintaining what little batteries you do have on board because i woke up some mornings to a fun little alarm that I didn't know existed on my RV. <laughs> oh. um, I knew you shouldn't do it. I didn't know there was going to be an alarm. Uh, and so those mornings, they able to fire the generator up and get them back to where they should be and not let them stay down too low for too long uh, and help preserve their life. And, and to be quite frank, to make it more comfortable. So uh, I can tell you one of the first things we're going to be doing is going and buying a portable generator that will allow us to at least function um, if we absolutely had to with maybe a AC and then just keep the batteries topped off and be able to use lights and that kind of stuff. So. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. How do we shower while we're boondocking? Of course, we do need showers. So I have a separate Red Bull that I use for the shower. Our shower nozzle, it has a button right there so it can stop and start whenever you push the button. It's great. We'll collect the fresh water in here. So these are drinking water bottles. Um, we empty these, we save them, I use a funnel, and I pour the water that we collect from the shower as we're waiting for it to warm up in there, and then we can use that for our toilet to flush. Maximizing our water is important. I use this because I collect some of the water in here too, and I use it to shave my legs, and I can rinse our razor off. So maximizing water and time, it's efficient, and it doesn't fill up our green tanks as fast and our black tank. So I'm Charity. And I'm Ben. And we are Grateful Glamper, and you can find us on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, pretty much all of the social media platforms. So our favorite boondocking boom tip. <laughs> We've learned a lot in the last couple weeks. Yes, so. we have learned a ton. But I would say that 100% we could not have had the same experience that we had if we hadn't had our Battleborn lithium batteries. Mm -hmm. Those made all of the difference in the world not having to just like worry about what was going on with our batteries were we draining them beyond a point that it was going to damage them, Kill them. yeah because you pretty much can't damage the lithium batteries right yeah you can drain them down to practically zero so we didn't have to really worry about that no and we don't have solar yet we plan on adding that soon but we just used our generator to charge them up when we needed to charge them up and like we were fine but definitely would not have been that way if we didn't have lithium Hey guys, we're with our friends Howard and Caitlin, and tell us your channel name. Uh, well, we're the New State Nomads. It's not just a convenient name. It is actually our last name, New State, <laughs> New State Nomads. And we travel all around the world. So it's not just RV content, but also destinations. And we try and show you how to live like a local wherever you go. Yeah, and you can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and our website, New State Nomads. Awesome. So we had the pleasure to boondock with these lovely folks for two weeks and we've learned so much about boondocking that we thought we were experts, but <laughs> these folks are amazing. What's a great tip you think our viewers would like yeah. to know? Yeah, and it wasn't always that way. I think boondocking is definitely about practice and getting more comfortable over time, but water conservation is the biggest one. And so just practice, like even when you're at a campground, being really conservative with washing your dishes, try to go a day or two without showering. You know, it might be uncomfortable at first, but you'll get used to it. Lots of dry shampoo and baby wipes and that kind of stuff. But I think water would be the biggest one. It is, and it's not just water consumption, but it's also not filling up your tanks. Like for example, mm -hmm. when we wash our dishes, we actually will use a container and put that in the sink so that way we're dumping the water instead of into the gray tank it's actually going outside uh, so that way we can go even longer um, 
where we're using less water, but we're also not filling our tanks. Yeah, that's a great tip. So thank you guys. We hope you guys enjoy these amazing tips from our friends from the RV Unplug cast. That's right. We appreciate having expert insight on how best to utilize your time when you're out camping and enjoy every moment while being off grid. Absolutely. So as always, don't forget, subscribe, hit the little bell notification, leave us a comment down below and let us know one of your best boondocking tips. We always want to learn and share as much as we can with everybody. And if you haven't checked out the RV Unplugged video, look at the end of this one and then go check out our friends and their sites because there's a lot of great insights coming and this show is going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm going to link everyone down below in the description. Check them out, follow them, show them some love, but don't forget Team Venture Sim Couple for RV Unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, guys. Enjoy every moment. Thanks for watching.